Katie Thurston's season of The Bachelorette kicked off with makeout sessions and plenty of husband potential to go around. The guys are so great this season. During Monday's premiere episode, the 30-year-old bank marketing manager met and charmed 30 men vying for her heart. You look amazing. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice you. to meet you. But before the infamous limo intros, Katie revealed that she's never been in a relationship with someone who's felt like her partner, something she said she hopes to remedy as she searches for her soulmate and looks ahead to an engagement. I never felt like I could be myself completely, but I'm happy where I'm at now. I've learned a lot about myself, and I am not going to settle. I'm ready for that love that I deserve. Ahead of the premiere, Katie told ET what she's looking for in a man. The biggest thing is he has to be passionate about life or what he's doing in life. Definitely a good sense of humor and then kindness. I think that's a really big thing that people kind of overlook. It's a journey Katie thought she'd go through alone amid Chris Harrison's decision to step away from the franchise. But the newest franchise lead was happy to find out that Caitlin Bristow and Tasha Adams were there to help her out. I was just very blessed to have Tasha and Caitlin kind of help me through that journey, and it's something that I will forever be thankful for. They helped me from start to finish. They've gone through it. It really means something to me, that girl power and that, that bond. But back to those limo intros. I'm really excited for everyone to get to know these guys, know their stories, because they have something great to share. First up, Thomas, who was pretty sweet. I have just a deep admiration for you stepping into this strength and having the hope to live in such a vulnerable way. Then Trey showed up in a ball pit in the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> I'm here to have a ball with you, as you can see. I love uh, it. Because not only are you drop dead gorgeous, but uh, you're a pretty baller bachelorette. <laughs> <laughs> and Katie, she liked it. Check out what she told ET about Trey. You can't deny the chemistry and the energy that he offers. Like, he just lights up a room. But Trey wasn't the only guy to think outside of the box. Andrew S. pulled up in a British car and rocked a fake British accent. I'm traveling all the way across the pond to be here with you tonight. While Jeff opted to roll up in an RV. They say home's where the heart is. Okay. I drove my home here from Jersey. Wow. Hoping you'd be my heart. And there was a whole lot of sexual innuendos like this. I don't know if there's a genie in here, but I'm hoping we can rub one out together. The guy can't accept, you know, me being sex positive or talking about sex. It's just not going to work out. There are some people who are a little traditional and old school, you know, but people around my age and younger, like, we're here for it. It is 2021. Embrace your sexuality and, and be an empowered woman. Then there was Connor B, who came dressed up as a cat, and Katie, she was into it. I think I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> Like, really into it. So much so that Katie and the cat had a major makeout session when things moved inside. But Connor B wasn't the only guy to get a kiss. Katie puckered up to Justin the painter, too. And she told E.T. he's just one of those guys who surprises you. He's very talented as an artist, but he's very sexy and mysterious as well. Katie also kissed Greg when she gave him the coveted first impression rose, after he gifted her with a homemade necklace from his niece. I do feel that there's something there, and once we can get past those nerves, I think there's a great guy under there. <laughs> so why did Katie give Greg that first rose? Here's what she told ET. Greg was just so authentically himself. Like, he was like, I'm nervous, I'm scared, I don't know what I'm doing. And that's what I loved about him. He wasn't trying to be too cool. And after Katie sent a few of the men packing, she dished on seeing some real long-term potential with the remaining guys. There's so many good guys in that room, the kind of guys who have that long-term potential. <laughs> I'm just really excited. I'm excited for what's to come. Katie wouldn't spill on her current relationship status, but she did tell ET that she falls in love more than once during her time on the show. I'm engaged to myself. That's what I've been saying for now. I'm very happy. Are